Hello everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today at Busy Lizzie's Budget. I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. And I know I say this every video, but I don't just say it out of habit. I truly, truly mean it. I am blown away to wake up this morning to 600 subscribers. I just never in my wildest dreams thought I would have that many people interested in following my journey and that many people that I could communicate with and that we could help each other out. I am still just in shock and I'm just so thankful for every one of you. I thought I would try to mix things up again, do a slightly different kind of video. I have kind of stopped doing or filming my cash stuffing videos because they were getting really long and I thought maybe they were a little monotonous. They weren't getting as many views as my other videos. So I'm just gonna keep changing things up a bit to see what you enjoy watching and to try to keep my videos a little shorter. So I am going to do a cash, just a weekly unstuffing of my weekly cash binder. But instead of doing a whole video where I restuff it, I'm going to take care of that in a different video. So today's video, I'm just going to be unstuffing my weekly binder so you can see how much we had left over. I will also be unstuffing my cash chips from the last at least three weeks and I'll be unstuffing my coins. So let's get right to it and we'll start with unstuffing my weekly cash binder. So if we go ahead and open it up, first category is Lizzie, which is me. And from last week, I had $3 in ones left over. So if you've been following my channel, you'll know that these $1 bills will go to a savings challenge. So I set them up there for later in the video. Groceries, we didn't have any left over. Gas, we didn't have any. Walmart, we have a $20 bill left over. I'm going to put that beside me. Eating out. I think there's just ones in here. Yes, yeah, so we have two $1 bills. We'll put that up there. For Max and Addie, I know I bought them stuff, but it was mostly food, which I used out of my eating out category because it was takeout. There's $35 here. And then my husband, Matt, we don't touch his envelope. Ranger, we're, we always put his into his emergency fund. So we'll do that in just a moment. And then I do have other categories, but we don't unstuff these. We have um, the person I pay to edit my videos. We have Wiggles, my son's bird, which we leave that to roll over. Nails rolls over. And then to the bank, Chase, things like that. So that's just money I need to deposit in the bank because I use it for the credit card. So let's put this aside for a moment. The first thing I'm going to do is grab Ranger's emergency fund envelope. I have it right here. And there was $30 rolled over. So I already went ahead and wrote that in right before this video. So now as of today, I think today's the 18th, he's back over $1,000. Ranger has $1,020. And we do have a surgery date for him. It's at the end of August. So we definitely want to keep saving up as much as we can. I'm going to go ahead and add this $30 into here. And now he has 500 in the bank. I love this, it says radiate positivity. I think that's such a pretty sticker. So we have 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 950, 970, 990, 1010, 1020. So that is correct. And off camera, I will take out another 500 and put another 500 placeholder bill or I'll put in one $1,000 placeholder. So that will be fun since we don't like to keep too much money at home. So that takes care of Ranger. Then let's count the rollover we had in my wallet. It is 20, 40, 55. And I believe it was supposed to be 65. Let me see. I usually try to plan these videos pretty well ahead of time. Let me get my weekly binder out. I think I might have missed a $10. I think we had $10 left over in miscellaneous. Let me just see if I missed that. Let's see. I did. Okay. There we go. So we actually had $65 left over. So what I'm going to do is we're going to save this cash for the next video. And in the next video, when I do the stuffing part where I stuff my weekly paycheck, Matt's weekly paycheck, I'm also going to stuff the rollover 65. So we're going to put that aside for the next video we do. And let's go ahead and we will roll these $1 bills. For those of you who are new, 
what I usually do is I, any leftover $1 bills, I roll, put it in an elastic, and I put in this jar. So I'll show it to you quickly for those of you who haven't seen it. We had just filled up a jar and just started a new one. So this is, the bills are at the bottom, but that's okay. It's gonna be fun to build this up again. So I'm gonna roll each one and as I do that, I will fast forward it so you don't have to watch. So I'm gonna begin doing that right now. Okay, not sure if you could tell because it was fast forwarded, but I had a lot of trouble rolling these and I had to do some of them two times. So we got it done. They may not look that pretty though, but we have one, two, three, four, five, five one dollar bills and this may not seem like a lot to you guys but it really does add up and those of you who saw the video where i counted the ones i had filled up before in my jar you know i got quite a lot of money from that so i'm going to go ahead and put those in here and we'll be done with the ones for this week the next thing i'm going to do is take out my jar from katie budgets k-a-t-i-i and this is going to fill up very quickly for two reasons number one because it's the jar is a lot smaller than the last one i used but i absolutely love this and number two because i've been getting a lot of coin cash tips from work and a while back i told you all that i wasn't counting the coins I was just counting the dollars, but I've been getting so many coin tips at work that my son convinced me to count those, start counting those in my videos and to keep them separate because it really does add up. So anyway, here are my coin tips from the last few weeks. And if customers do need a penny or 25 cents or something, if they really don't want to get back a bunch of change, I just give them my money because I I just want the customer to be happy and I receive a lot of tips, so it's not a big deal. So my little rainbow bright pouch is completely full. It's never been this heavy. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll show you in my hand as I dump it in, but there are tons of coins, like an incredible amount. Okay, so that will do that, but there's a lot of change in here. So that's exciting. And I, I'll just say, I've lived in this town for 16 years and I have never paid the meters. Um, usually they don't check them. I, just, I have not used change in 16 years and I park downtown all the time. My husband always says, you're gonna get a ticket, you're gonna get a ticket. Well, I've never gotten a ticket and they just put in new meters and they spent a lot of money doing that. And it turns out they have new people checking and they actually are checking and checking frequently. So I got a $30 ticket. I thought someone was just checking out my new car, but it turns out they were taking a picture because I was gonna get a bill or a, a fine a ticket. So I caught a $30 ticket and I was so busy, I waited a week to look at it. And after a week, I went to pay it and I looked in the fine print and it says, if you don't pay this within seven days, it's doubled. So. I looked at it on the eighth day, so one day after it was due. So now I owe $60. So I still feel like I saved more than $60 in change over the past 16 years of not paying the meters. Because I, and the reason I don't pay the meters is because I love my coins and I love saving them, but from now on, I'm paying the meters. So I would have had a lot more change, but now I'm using my quarters every time I go downtown and that's that because I do not want to get another ticket. So the last thing we're going to do in this video are my cash tips and I'm folding them and putting them in this jar and not counting them until the jar is full or till the end of the year. So I'm going to go ahead and take these out, but I will tell you a few different things happen with my cash tips. First of all, I went to get my nails done and I forgot my wallet but I had just come from work and I had this with me. So I ended up using a ton of my cash tips to pay for my nails one day. So I believe I paid it back, but I just wanted you to know I did not get a $20 cash tip or a $5 cash tip. These were me paying it back from taking out 25 $1 bills. The other thing is I've started working, I finally was able to hire some people to work with me, so I've been training them and we've been splitting cash tips. So we basically been putting them in a jar until the end of the night and splitting them. So before I used to have one or two or three dollar bills folded over and now it's probably not going to be like that unless I worked alone. So it's so for instance, these were my tips from yesterday. 
So after we split them, it's just one big pile. So I'll start with this one right here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that was twelve dollars from the whole day yesterday. So I'll go ahead and put that in here. Um, and again, this twenty-five was twenty-five dollars I needed to pay for par part of my nail appointment. So that was me just paying back the tips. Here's a one dollar. There's a $1. So yes, these were when I was working alone and just had my own tips. Here's another single dollar. And then let's see. This little clump is one, two, three, four, five, six. So that was also, I believe, when I worked with someone else and we split tips for the day. And again, we don't have the type of job where we're supposed to get tips and we don't have a labeled tip jar or anything. So we probably would get much more tips if we did, but this is just customers asking if they can tip us. So there's a $1 bill. And now this is all gonna get wonky because I have big piles, but that's all right. Here's another one. Another $1 bill a customer gave me. I hope this is in frame, there we go. Another $1. Here are $2. And let's see. This customer gave me $3. Trying not to be OCD and turn them all in the right direction. We can do that when we empty this at the end of the year or whenever we decide to do it. And then let's see. So this is pretty good. It is about three weeks worth of tips, but sharing them with someone, that means we did get quite a bit. And then this customer gave me four or it was a day I was sharing tips. I cannot remember. But I wanted to go ahead and do that and get this empty because I don't like leaving that much cash sitting right on top of my register all day. So there you go. You can see that's filling up very nicely. And that is going to be all for this video. So... Um, I know I have a lot of new subscribers. I want to thank you so much. If you've watched to the end of the video, tell me if you have any plans for the summer. I know the summer's part over, but tell me if you have any vacation plans or anything you're excited to do. This coming week, we are going to the beach for a family reunion just for a day trip, but my family's really excited about that. And I will catch you in another video very soon. Have a great day, and I love you all so much. Thanks for watching. Bye.